Well, well, well! Welcome back to part 33 of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. We're still inside of Real Vein's castle. We're just gonna jump straight into it after placing our characters. This is a two squad battle, so we'll split everybody up. And we'll head on inside of Real Vein's castle. Where hopefully, we'll encounter uh, Alma. Rescue her from whatever happened with uh, the Holy Knights. Uh oh, what's this? Uh oh, that's Flygriff. There you are, Ramza. Draw your sword, Ramza. What's wrong? If you don't, I will. How miserable you are, giving your spirit to Lukavi just to avenge yourself. If Maluda knew about this, she'd be very disappointed. Revenge? <laughs> ha! That's not what I'm after. I want far more than that. I don't give a damn about Maluda's murder. I want to bring chaos into the world, to hear the screams of humans. But don't worry, Ramza. I'll kill you myself. Mission. Defeat Wygriff. Yes, it's that horrible, horrible nightmare fight. The solo Wygriff battle. Where it's just Wygriff and it's just Robza, and that's all there is. Wygriff's a white knight with maintenance, counter, punch skill, move plus one, a holy sword, so we can't break any of his equipment. And so, and we can't, uh, and we can't. Oh, and we're just, you know, a straight bard. We just have Sing, MA Save, Move 3, and some various equipment. So, more or less, we'll see what happens. Now, there's a trick to doing this. I've done this before. We're doing a fight as just straight up Wygriff. Can be done. Oh, this as a straight up bard can be done. In fact, it can be done for pretty much every single class there is. But for our purposes, we're a bard, and we have nothing but songs. So we're just going to start off cheer songing to try to outspeed Wygruff. And we'll move here. Wygruff has the same abilities every single time uh, for this fight. So it's kind of... You're kind of able to figure out exactly what you need to do to... There's some trial and error, but if you need to go level grind or anything like that, then it's kind of it gets really nasty really fast. And we're gonna go ahead and wait, and oh dear, Wagner's going to oh dear, oh, ow, <laughs> that's okay, cause we are cheer sogging, so we'll get a plus one speed, which probably actually won't help us at all, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll switch to life song. Ooh, ten. Ow. And we'll run. And now's when I remember that Wygruff can actually hit us from here because of his punch art skills. Yes, Wygruff has Earth Slash. And we're dead. Whoops. Well, that didn't go quite the way actually I planned it, so um, let's try that again. Alright, so here we go again, Wygruff. So here's our status. I've changed some of my clothes. So, Wygruff, of course, keeps his same equipment. And as this is my 13th attempt at this fight, which, of course, you didn't see the last fights, thanks to the powers of... of... of editing. But this is actually my 13th attempt at this fight, where Wygriff would continually one-shot me or two-shot me. And this is the fight, of course, that I win at, because this is the one that I'm showing. And it's... it's possible to beat him, but it's all about abusing the AI. Wygriff... because Wygriff has punch arts and lightning stab, Wygriff has a very... you could... Wygriff will prefer to do an attack that will always hit you if he can get into range of it. 
So while doing this as a straight up bar with best compatibility, the easiest way to do this fight is what I'm doing right here. Move down into the lower left corner to force a uh, Wygriff uh, and hope Wygriff does an Earth Slash. If he does, because you have move plus three and can outmove him, Wygriff is forced to come back around. He'll lose a turn. Our life song will go off. And we'll move back over here. Now because Wygriff can reach us from here, if not with a lightning stab, but with an earth slash. Wygriff will always take the earth slash. An MA save goes off. MA save raises our magic attack, which increases both how much damage we do with the harp, as well as how much we heal with the life song. And then we move back. Heal up the life song damage. I mean, we heal up the earth, the earth slash damage from the life song. Wygriff will try to walk back over. And we move over here. And we wait for Wygriff to punch us again. Wygriff will do this exact same op will do this exact same move set for the entire rest of this fight, so long as you do not alter at all what you do yourself. You can change what song you do, but so long as you move into those into uh, as long as you move whenever you get your turn up and move back and forth between those two corners, and you have to have move plus three. Then Wygriff will continuously try to just walk back and forth and keep Earth slashing you. So with that said... And you want to be careful of crits, of course. Because at a crit, you don't know how much damage a crit will do. And Wygriff will hop over. And he'll Earth slash. We'll game MA save. Rinse and repeat. So I'm actually going to start fast forwarding here. Okay, so yeah. Here we are. This fight took me this is act this it took me 30 minutes to actually do this. So I'm compressing it all down so you don't have to suffer through the same 30 minutes that I had to sit through of continuously watching Ramza and Wygriff go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But now's a good time to talk about why this fight turned out the way it did. See, I was cleaning my room and I came across an old notebook from 2002, which happened to contain the original notes for when I actually did this the first time. But a straight character challenge the first time with a group of uh, with Ramzaz and Bard and a group of dancers. Where apparently I whipped Wygriff's butt in three turns. And I tried out the strategy, and I even wrote down the strategy that I used as I did it, so go past me. Unfortunately for me, past me had bad compati had bad zodiac compatibility with Wygriff. So Wygriff would only do 140 damage with his lightning stab, and Ramza, with the similar equipment setup, would do would do two would fully heal himself with two life songs and a and an attack from his harp. And that's why I pretty much won it three turns. That's not how this quite worked because Wygriff does 168 damage with good compatibility, which this Ramza, 2013 Ramza, happens to have. That means that this Ramza does, cannot outheal what what this Wygriff could do to him. So, good job 2002 me for noting down exactly what I did, except for the fact that I did not note down my own Zodiac compatibility, so I screwed myself over by the time I got to this fight. And this is one of the ways that Zodiac compatibility 
can be a big difference. Because it, it doesn't seem like a lot in a normal fight, but in a fight like this where you, it's just even wider, there's a big difference between 30, uh, between 140 and 168. But eventually it took me a while, but you know, I did finally get it. So, another thing we're doing with this fight is, since I can't rely on my own pass notes, I have to I had to go digging in through the battle manual on GameFAQs.com to figure out a strategy to actually beat White Earth. And what I found out and what I realized was, with MA save, which is magic attack up, whenever uh, Ramza takes damage, whenever it triggers, I, I can gradually begin to increase both the amount of healing that a, a life song does, as well as the amount of damage that the harp does. Because the harp does your physical attack plus your magical attack uh, added together. It does the average of the two, divided by 100 or multiplied by 100 or something like that, and then adjust it for your compatibility. I mean, if you want to go, go, go to the website and go to the uh, thing, it's all in there for the harp. But either way, um, I realized that with a starting PA plus MA of 16, I could barely outheal with three life songs the Earth Slash. Because that'll be 20 per uh, thing. So I pumped up my uh, I pumped up my attack as much as I could go. My magic attack as much as I could go. And then he one shot me anyway. And I realized, okay. I can pump up my MA, but I just don't have enough health to survive. So I threw out that window and pumped up my PA, thinking that, hey, maybe I could just use the heart to outheal him. That didn't work because then he critted me for 330, and Ramza, of course, doesn't have that much HP. So then I was like, okay, you know what? We'll just, we'll just try to loop him. We'll just try to get him into an Earth Slash loop. I, knew it ha I know it happened before. I don't recall when it happened before. But it happened now. And I'm grateful for that. So this is an alternate strategy. Alternate for the one I did in 2002. But it works. If you're doing this as a, squ as a squire, the other usual way to do this is to just... I mean, the normal way is just to make ROMs of whatever class you want and then just give them yell. Or just make them whatever you want and then just beat the crap out of uh, Wygriff. I mean, if you still have the blood sword from stage, uh, from, from Gafgarian, you just equip a blood sword on Ramza, and every single time Ramza attacks Wyra, Ramza gets his health back. It's like the bloody strings, but much more reliable and much more damaging. Or you could be a squire and use, or you could use the squire skill yell, which has a 100% success rate, and then just out yell to the point where, uh, you start getting double turns, then triple turns, then quadruple turns. Because as you can see, I'm trying the cheer song, but the cheer song does miss occasionally. So it takes a while. If you're doing the bar route, the you're trying to aim for a speed of 25. Speed maxes out at 50, but uh, speed of 25 is where you want to be. Also, if you're using this strategy, keep in mind that you have to have some way to uh, start the fight with speed 9. Which is why Ramza is, uh, I had to grind Ramza to level 35 so he would get his natural speed bonus of 8. Because at 35, Ramza's speed goes up to 8, regardless of, I think it's regardless of class. But, uh, because they both have a speed of 8, if you just leave it at 8, Migraph will always go first. And he'll do it and he'll move towards you and then that's bad. This way, if you use either a green beret, which is what this Ramza has equipped, or you can use sprint shoes, which is what I had a couple of times uh, in other uh, trials, then Ramza has a speed of nine, can move first, and can move use his move plus three, which is a bard skill, to move out of the way, forcing the uh, Wygriff into this loop. Now we're almost done. I've been talking a lot, but we're almost done. Right now, Rams is getting almost all of his uh, all of his terms much more often than Wygriff is. So we're gonna try to attack, and due to all the MA ups that uh, Wygriff, Wygriff punched Ramza for, we can outright kill Wygriff, provided it actually lands. 
So we'll do one last heal up. Biograph attacks, raises it, and we're back to normal speed, which means this must be it. Wagner's a punk and he's gonna block that. But we get so many turns, we get so many more turns than Wagner does, that we can just keep trying until eventually we win. And there you have it. A straight barred Ramza fight. You've improved. Running away, Wygroof! Come out of there, Wygroof! Let's have it out here. Oh, but you didn't think this fight was done, did you? Remember, he's a Zodiac Grave now. He's already showing us what his other form is like. That's right, Nellius is back, and this is a two-part fight, so if you lose at this part, sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, now the rest of our team shows up. I see you have some help, then I'll do the same. Come out, loyal servants. That's right, and if you lose to Wygriff at this part, you have to do the whole solo Wygriff fight again. Here I come, Robza. Let me show you the power of evil! Now we have a new goal of defeating Velius. Oh, we are so ready. Now, if you've done the strat where you power up Robzus to superhuman levels, then, you know, here's our team, but you know what? It, it doesn't matter, because there's Velius, he's a warlock, we can't tell what he has. There's some archaic demons who have nothing but dark magic and counter equipped. But none of that's really important, because this is the same Ramza, which means he still has a speed of 25 but a ridiculously high MA, and he gets the first four turns! So you know what that means. It means we walk up to Velius, and we start attacking him for 351 a pop. Ooh, or a crit, 546. And then we wait, and then we attack again. And then we wait. Or wait, nope, wait, let's check. Yep, we have the next two turns. So we're just gonna sit here and wait and attack. And that was the last of Velius. Whoa! They're just humans! Bye bye, black sheep. You ain't got no wool. That is why speed is the override arching king of this entire game. Whoever has the speed can pretty much run circles around the entire rest of the bosses. Around everything. Alma! Thanks, guys. You guys were so helpful during this fight. It's okay. Ramza took care of it. Congratulations! The solo Ramza battle is complete. Sadly, he now drops back to his base speed of 9 for the entire rest of this fight. Oh well. But hey! We defeated Vilius handily. Like we totally, we totally neutered that guy. And all it took was 14, 13, 14 tries. <laughs> oh, there's Alma, and she found Islud. Ooh, that's that's pretty gruesome. Ugh. I'm a kind soul that she is. Are you alright? She asked a guy that was coughing up blood and bleeding everywhere. Sore. Where is it? Must beat him. Please, give me some light. So dark. Can't see a thing. Don't worry. No need to fight anymore. Tell your brother the stone has evil power. He's not my father. The power made him. The coffee. Hack. Cough. Ew. And he coughed up blood. Please don't try to talk. 
what Rob said was true. The world will end if we don't kill him. Tell everyone, not time to fight. Must cooperate. Where's my sword? Can't move my arms. Don't worry, I saw his body in the hall. My brother killed him, so you don't need to fight. Really? That's a relief. The stone is in my jacket. Give it to your brother. Ew, it's all bloody. Well, I guess this means we don't have a boss fight with Islude. Poor, poor Islude. I'll be sure to do that. Poor, ugh, tired, sleepy. Just rest now. Poor, poor, optimistic Islude. Who's there? So here you are. I'll send you to the other side, too. Don't fear. You won't suffer. What? Velius was killed. And how? Your brother has the devil's own luck. Now, come here. Why? Why is Virgil responding? You can't be. Very nice. I didn't expect to meet you here. I thought it would take a hundred years to find you. I never dreamed you were the one. Stop! Let go of me! No need to fear. I won't kill you. Now come here! Everybody keep punching people. And then Alma was kidnapped again. Believe it or not, that ends this part. The hardest part is now behind us, and the even more hardest part is now ahead of us. So we'll see how long it takes me to get to do this, and when we come back, hopefully there will be a part 34 of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. See you then.